In this presentation, we're going to look at how we configure a banner to display a message of the day. Now, the message of the day is the message we first want to be seen by an individual when they first come on to this router. So we're going to start by going into the different levels of the Cisco IOS, and we're going to be looking for a banner command. So I'm just going to hit enter, brings me into my user mode. Now I'm going to type in the question mark, and we'll see if we have anything in here for the banner. And there's nothing there, so I'm going to control enter. It's going to take me back out to uh, my user prompt. And from here I'm going to type in EN, and it's going to ask me for my password. Now that brings me into the privilege executive mode, so let's type in question mark. And at this level, do I have anything for the banner? And underneath the B's, I still have nothing. So I'm going to control enter. And now I'm going to go into the next level, which is the global configuration mode. And I'm going to get there by typing in config T and hitting enter. Now I'm going to type in the question mark again. And we'll see if we have anything in here for the banner. And I do have a banner command. And it says, define a login banner. So I'm going to control enter. Brings me back out to my global configuration prompt. Now I'm going to type in banner space question mark and using the, the context sensitive help I can get to the next level of the syntax and since we're wanting to do a message of the day we see that that is available to us under MOTD now you notice I have five different messages that I can configure for this router and I got that just by using the context sensitive help so I'm going to type in MOTD space question mark and that brings up the next level of the syntax now, what it wants me to do here is to define the message by closing it in with a delimiting character. And this delimiting character that I'm going to use is the pound sign. And now I'm going to start the actual message of the day itself. So I'm going to type in asterisk, asterisk, exclamation, exclamation, three times. Then I'm going to type in authorized. access only to this router. I'm going to close this in with a couple more exclamation marks. And I'm going to close it off with the asterisk. And now I have to finish it with the delimiting character. And we use the pound sign. Now I could type in the question mark and We'll see if there's anything else left, and we'll see if I come back with the carriage return. Now, the carriage return tells me that there's nothing left for me to type to finish getting this message of the day to appear. So now I'm just going to hit Enter. That brings me back to the global configuration prompt, and I'm just going to Control Z to get out of here. Then I'm going to do an exit that takes me back out of the router. Now, when I hit Enter, you'll see that I have the message that we typed in for the message of the day. Now let's say that I want to get rid of this message of the day, that I don't want this particular message to be seen, but I want to configure another one. Well, I have to go in, I have to tell it not to display the banner, then I have to reconfigure it. So what the first thing I'm going to do is go back in into the uh, privilege executive mode. Now I'm going to type in config T. Now that's going to bring me back up to the global configuration mode. Now I'm going to type in no banner. And then if I didn't know what to do with this, I would just type in no space question mark to use the context sensitive help. But I know how to do it at this level. So this is a message of the day, MOTD. And I hit enter. That tells me that the command completed successfully. Now if I control Z and I do an exit, and I come back into the router, you'll see that our message of the day is gone. And that's all there is to configuring a banner for the message of the day. And then if you need to, you can remove it. And then if you wanted to, you could go back in and configure another one.